right off the bat this is a very expensive leather bag that most of you don't need but some of you will really really want because come on look at all this gorgeous leather this is the carl frederick Friedrich C31 and we're also taking a look at their all leather Walton sleeve 2 leather on leather on leather baby so let's check it out this beauty is about 15 liters in size and the whole front face covered with an Italian canvas nylon, which yes, makes it the fancy kind of nylon. A strip of vegetable tan leather wraps around the sides, top and bottom of the bag, supple and thick. It will patina beautifully and show some scars over time. The thick and heavy duty Recagni zippers are pronounced to make sure you know it's a freaking zipper. Metal hardware and very thick, albeit fairly stiff, leather shoulder straps around back. And even some nice cushioning to top off the list of materials. There's even a luggage strap if you like to fly and style. A single quick access front pocket, large opening to the main compartment where you can see that metal zipper shine through, nice leather accents even on the inside of the bag. But let's dive in and check out what I carry in this baby. Starting with the one and only front pocket, it's fairly lengthy but doesn't offer much in way of volume. So definitely keep the items on the thinner side. I stuff my wireless earphones of choice in here, the Jabra Elite Sports. This is the upgraded 4.5 hour battery life along with the additional 9 hours from the charging case, which means you can make gains for days before these even break a sweat. My favorite aspect though, the size and fit of these cuties. Two little pebbles they fit perfectly in my uneven ears thanks to the range of adjustable hooks and earplug sizes and alakazam they're very discreet unlike the super popular airpods that stick out like a sore toe plus they stay in no matter how hard you work out your neck now the buttons aren't the best as they do kind of push into your ears but i tend to play my music and then go ham forgetting i even have them on the last reason they cost a pretty penny they're completely waterproof which means i go straight from busting iron and right into the shower without pausing my taylor swift anthems come on who else works out their swift nation comment down below next up my trusty tool of choice that doesn't make me look like a serial killer the victorinox mini champ appropriately named for the hero you'll be when someone needs a screwdriver to tighten their holes maybe a knife to stab their voodoo dolls a pair of scissors because there's always a loose thread somewhere on you and even a cuticle pusher yeah i know i have ugly fingers get over it. It also doubles as a tiny spoon, but my favorite feature, the built-in flashlight. For my EDC fanatics, this replaces like five things in your pocket, all into one. Oh, and don't forget the slide-out pen, because you never know who wants an autograph. All of that action fits into the little pocket on your jeans you never understood was designed for. Otherwise, in that pocket, just some miscellaneous goods, like lots of mints, because you don't want to walk into a fancy meeting with coffee breath, and then some tissues, because boogers. Basically, a few knickknacks I need to grab quickly, easily accessible on the front. Opening up that bad boy metal spine, my water bottle of choice, is a Contigo with the auto seal lid. Now a few reasons why it's awesome. There's a spout cover to avoid sharing air germs, locking mechanism to prevent spillage, a large and easy to click button around back that keeps the liquid in when closed and out when the thirst is real. I also can't live without a built-in carabiner on my bottles anymore because they're so damn convenient and I just hate wasting a hand holding a bottle. And finally, they're pretty indestructible. Next are headphones starting with a simple wired pair because although Apple is courageous, I own too many non-courageous products. Plus I don't have to worry about batteries with these little jiggly things. My work, travel, casual, just everything headphones continue to go to the Bose QC35 twos though. First of all, they're elegant and sexy AF. The cushioning feels like clouds making love to your ears and although really light and borderline flimsy, they're surprisingly durable and flexible for any head shape and size. Plus, not only is the noise cancellation voted the best in the business to drown out your annoying coworkers, they actually isolate your tunes really well so you don't become that annoying coworker in the office. So if you appreciate your ears like you should, you drop the dough for these. Next, just my laptop charger that fits snug in the main compartment. Although the bag is fairly wide, it is divided into two large compartments. So you've got about two inches of depth in this main compartment. Moving on to the double sleeve pockets on the center, I carry my external battery of choice, the Mophie Power Station Plus XL because of its built-in lightning and micro USB cable. This accommodates not only my iPhone, but also my headphones and other micro USB goodies. If you require any other plugs though, there's a USB-A to plug any cable in to juice up from its 10,000 milliamps of power. And because it's the exact same size as the iPhone XS, you can comfortably hold them together against a soft fabric backing in one hand while it's charging. That means no more dealing with long cables getting caught on every knob you walk by, and as a bonus, it even wirelessly charges. Just like you, my friend, it does it all. I don't usually carry my phone in my bag, but if and when I'm charging it, I slide it into the opposite pocket. It conveniently fits even the iPhone XS Max comfortably. Side note here, I love the leather accents on the lip, making it super easy to slide things in and out, like lube for condoms. There are two pen slots beside that. My first go-to, Pilot G-Tech C4s. They're very thin and very sweet. Next, my Apple Pencil. If I'm running gunning with my iPad for the day, this is not just an ugly red skin. It's actually a plastic sleeve with a huge built-in magnet by MoxieWare. They do come in other colors that are less in your face, 
but the idea is when you use your iPad, instead of your pencil rolling off the table, you just stick it onto where your iPad naturally has magnets built in. It even works on the backside and it's quite strong so long as you don't rage too hard. In the main compartment, there are two leather hooks on each side. Great to hook keys on, but I use it to store my, you guessed it, hero clip for anyone living in 2018 aka the past aka prehistoric times if you own a bag you need to own this fancy carabiner with a hook on one end and a carabiner on the other whenever you need to set your bag down attach it on one end then simply hang it on the other why because washroom stall floors will be the end of you and your bag you can thank me later next up there's a single zipper pocket on the inside it goes fairly deep but again isn't too voluptuous so i only carry my cables in here most notably my multi usb cables with usb c micro and lightning all in one from Nomad. It's short and sweet thanks to the durable braided cable. But I also have the chiffon cables that allows me to charge multiple things at once, including USB C, micro, and dual lightning outlets. It saves me time, it doesn't tangle like having four different cables would, and works perfectly with my Mophie charger. Next is the most important item in my workflow my Samsung T5 SSD. Built like a tank, this tiny guy gets beat up and thrown around, but always comes through with the goods. It's a USB C output which transfers at super fast rates. I decided to stick Velcro on one side not only to keep a short cable on hand at all times, but I've also stuck some on the back side of my laptop, so when I'm working with it and need to move around, it isn't dangling around and frees up my other hand too. That's it for the main compartment, fairly simple but spacious enough and maybe exactly what most people need, especially if you're only heading to the office. And a hidden secret, the leather pouch on the front side is also a little pocket. I don't use it, but it would be great for business cards or, you know, secret baby making preventative measure products, aka condoms, aka love glove, aka raincoat. I just learned that one. Anyways, moving around back, this pocket is dedicated for larger electronics or items in general as there's just one big open space inside. Fitting my fairly thick laptop and still leaving room for my moleskin notebook. Squared interface, of course, for all the creative vomit I need to spew. However, it just fits my Dell XPS 15 inch. I don't recommend this if you have a 15 inch that isn't the XPS or MacBook line as they tend to have larger bezels that may be too tall. But that's it. Keeping it simple in this carryout, this is the head to the office carry in the C31. It's more than enough to stay productive. Now, if you want to go even lighter, you can swap the laptop for an iPad. In my case, the iPad Pro 10.5 inch. Hidden inside the beautiful all leather Walton sleeve. It's a tight fit, but will break in over time. And it even fits with the Apple Smart Keyboard attached. The sleeve is just two slabs of thick leather stitched together nicely. It's a very clean look, and they even offer initial embossing like I have here. Now for the workhorse, the iPad itself, combined with the thinnest keyboard around, the best stylus I've ever used, it's just missing one thing to be a complete workstation. A mouse. Yes, a mouse on the iPad is possible. This is a Swiftpoint GT, a tiny, tiny little thing, but has all the functionality of a full-size mouse and even more. Okay, it's not going to work on the iOS interface, but if you combine it with the Jump desktop software, I'm able to remotely connect to any of my desktops and fully utilize the Windows experience right on my iPad. It's got full controls built into the app already, moving the mouse around, typing on the smart keyboard, but I find it's best when you pair the Swift Point through Bluetooth that Jump desktop can recognize as an actual mouse. What's happening is you're basically remotely controlling your desktop that's sitting at home or in your studio through Wi-Fi, so you can browse but even edit a video with Premiere Pro with your mouse and keyboard shortcuts and all. Now it does require a fairly good connection, but running full Premiere Pro on an iPad, mind blown. So whether you're a tablet or laptop type of user, the C31 can accommodate either, or there's even enough space to fit both if you decide to switch it up on the go. It's a simple bag, but a beautifully simple one at that. Now this bag isn't designed to go carrying around two laptops, all your gym gear, and like a three course lunch. It's elegant, minimal, and first and foremost, a backpack you can walk into the office with without looking like you're still in school. So here are my reasons why I love of the C31. While this is a fairly subjective one, I do like the style of the bag. It's business trendy, very minimal, and I'm just a sucker for all this gorgeous leather use. Now the bag is on the shorter side and that's part of that fashion aspect of it. If you compare it to a regular everyday backpack, you lose about two inches in height. So if you're like over six feet tall, just keep in mind, it may look like you're wearing a child's bag with this on. But the bag straps do offer a few points of adjustability to accommodate different heighted people, although not the quickest method. But in my opinion, in the end, style is the number one reason why you'd purchase this bag. Not many people can justify spending $400 on such a simple bag. But like most high-end leather bags, it comes down to understanding the value of craftsmanship and the materials put into it. It's a fashion piece for those who understand why buying Gucci is worth it over buying the Dollarama equivalent that's just as functional. This brings me to my next point, the materials themselves. Vegetable tan Italian leather, a pricey material on its own, used generously around the whole bag. They also utilize this recycled 
nylon canvas, which gives the bag a little more flexibility rather than having this thick leather all around the whole bag. It's durable and it's semi water resistant, but if you do get stuck in rain, it will eventually seep through this material. It's not fully sealed. And although it is a nylon, it's still got that high end professional business look and feel finish to it. Finally, they even tell these zippers as being a premium material finish. It's formally known as Recagni zippers, but it's just this thick metal zipper throughout all the pockets and even on the inside of the bag. And honestly, they just work. They don't get caught, they close and open with ease, and that thick metallic accent goes well with the leather finish in my opinion. It's kind of like a badass leather jacket you're wearing on your back. This next one is pretty simple, but oh so appreciated. Its rigid structure means it doesn't flail or droop around as you can see here. The heavy use of leather gives the bag its structure whether it's full or empty. Which also means thanks to that thick piece of leather on the bottom, it sits up straight every time you set it down, which makes accessing any pocket super easy. But most importantly, making a bold statement when something sits upright this confidently. Now the downside to all that rigidity, they use that same thick leather for their shoulder straps. This is one of those moments you know you're buying a fashionable bag over a functional one because although they look super clean, they're not super comfortable. Now if you carry it with a light load, like just a laptop, maybe a notebook or a bottle and maybe an extra sweater, it's not too bad even during extended usage. There also isn't a chest strap or a hip strap built in, which makes sense because that would kill the whole look of the bag, but that means there's nothing to help distribute the load and that all goes to your shoulder just right here. So if you use the bag as it's designed for light business daily carry, it's actually pretty comfortable. Just don't pack like you're going hiking with this or something. Next is organization. Not by having a gazillion pockets to store things in, but I found just having these two main compartments was very handy. Now in no way is this unique to this bag, but I do appreciate in their attempt to stay minimal, they added a whole zipper for another pocket. Not only that though, unlike other laptop pockets that only and barely fit a laptop, this one fits my laptop, my tablet, and even my second screen. And since it's a fairly small bag to begin with at 15 liters, being able to store my electronics in one pocket and then keeping my other essentials like a lunch or clothes in this separate pocket was pretty convenient. Otherwise, it's not a super technically pocket laid out bag. There's a single zippered pocket here. I use it for like cords and stuff. Two sleeve pockets that actually fits an iPhone XS Max comfortably. Two pen pockets, although I do wish these pen pocket lips were lined in a leather like they do here. It's just kind of loosey goosey. It's hard to kind of slot it in sometimes. I love the pocket pouch on the front that has their logo on it, but it doubles as like a great business card holder. And finally, that quick access pocket on the front. It goes fairly deep, but there's not much volume to it. And if you start stuffing things in, it actually takes up space on the inside. I use it for like mints and gum and my earphones as you saw in my packing list. Overall at 15 liters, it's quite a small bag and it looks like a small bag too. If you keep it on your daily essentials for business needs, like a laptop, notebook, and a lunch or a change of clothes, that's perfectly fine for this size. It's more than enough for your daily needs, but if you do want to carry more, you can always start stacking vertically. Lastly, on the note about pockets though, I love, love, love that use these huge zippers that run around the whole bag. Now this may be to accommodate the thick leather they use that isn't as easy to bend and fold. You can easily see everything that's stored inside the bag to help you just grab and go. Especially when you combine the fact that it sits upright the whole time. Cha-ching! Now, as much as I appreciate the bag, there are some things to consider. Like the obvious price tag, $400 US is not something you buy and just throw around. You wear this to the office in a suit and you treat it with the same respect you would that fancy suit. The bag is definitely first and foremost fashion over function in my opinion. And finally, although a fairly spacious laptop pocket, it isn't padded or lifted on the bottom that you've only got that really thick leather to keep it protected. Again, that goes back to how you should be handling a $400 leather bag that shouldn't be thrown around anyways. You don't want to be banging on the floor and scratching up the leather. But that's just something to keep in mind if you have the habit of not caring about your bag. First off, apologies for a lack of content, continuity continuity for the lack of uh, clothes because I've had to shoot this over several days, so ignore that. But look, I get it. It's not a bag for everyone, nor do I expect many of you to want the bag or be in an environment that makes sense for one. But at least now you know of another gorgeous leather bag option out there in the world and all the gear I carry in it, all linked down below. That's it, like and subscribe if you wanna see more and leave a comment down below if you're the type to buy one of these bags. I rest my case sleeve thing.